Why, hello there. <sighs> Gotta let my dog in. And all the cicadas. Well, hello there. Yes. Hi. Hello. Dead wasp in here. Okay. Introducing yourself is hard. Okay, we can try it right here. It is too hot. The sun is right on me. <laughs> Unsubscribe. No, don't do that. I really should have written the script. <laughs> Shit biscuits! Oh my goodness, golly gee. There's one thing that frightens me enough to scream and it's wasps. It's a live nest. Like, I cannot deal. Whew! No, you know, I don't think truck bed is the first impression I want to go for, actually. <sighs> well, that was an adventure. Quite the unnecessary one. I guess I belonged here all along. <laughs> Can't do it with me. Shoulders drop down. Literally sitting on a briefcase right now. I feel like I should be seeing three bucks, two bucks, one knee. Aw, sweepers. There's a cat right next to the camera. Which is so sweet. Can you hear that? She's purring. <laughs> oh no. Everything is going wrong for me today. <laughs> She's settled, and I think I need a new chair. Well, I found a chair. Uh, it's the floor. <laughs> anyway, yes, hi, I'm Elena. The one and only. <laughs> it's funny because nobody knows who I am. Although, if you do know me from my life, um, don't watch this video. <laughs> and if you happen to be subscribed because of my earlier music content, this is mm, not that. I don't know if you noticed. But for anyone who is familiar with my covers and original songs, and just the 52 songs project in general, I uh, clearly failed the project. I just didn't have the discipline to complete the not-so-ambitious task of singing 52 songs within the span of one year. I know, it's sad. But I did have school and depression, <laughs> and it just generally seemed like life didn't really want me to complete that project. And I'm okay with that. But the question on nobody's mind after that is why am I here? <laughs> Why are you here, Elena? Why are you making a video? What are you gonna do? What are you doing? Just stop, please. I'm making this video to explain what I'm planning for this channel. But the question of what I am planning is a good one because planning has always been kind of a loose term for me. I always have ideas. I have great ambition but not enough ambition to actually do the things. But I guess that's really the gist of it, is that I have ideas that are constantly in my mind, and I want to I wanna get them out. And those ideas can really be, yeah, pretty much anything, but mostly they will tie back to what's really maybe my only passion, with like a sub-passion of people, and that passion is art. Or maybe art is a sub-passion of people, 
But I don't know, it all really ties together. Now, when most people think about art, they tend to think of visual arts, like painting or drawing, sometimes photography, maybe for the really open-minded ones, body art or performance art. And while I do love those things, I'm pretty much obsessed with them. My obsession lies in the more all-encompassing sense of the word art. Obviously, because of my previous videos, you can derive that the art of music is one of those things that I am in love with. But the word art expands to mean even more, so much more than a lot of people give it credit for. Not only does it include things like visual art, literary art, and musical art, not even does it just extend to things like dancing or making movies or designing clothes. Reading can be an art if you let it. Fashion. Even if you don't have enough money for things like designer clothes, you can make the best of what you wear if you know how to style it to your body type. Even working out or mastering a sport, which seems like it would be the opposite of an art, can be an art if you let it. And all this is because art is really at the core of everyone's being. You can't be a human and not wish to create something. I think this is why people care about how they look. Art is a standard by which we measure beauty. People look good when they've created an image for themselves. And that's really what art is, is creating. Creating an image, or a picture, or a word picture, or a musical composition. So yeah, you get it, Elena is obsessed with art. So how does it tie back to making videos and what you'll do with your channel? Well, I guess to put it in terms of art things, I want to expand my portfolio. I pride myself in being a sort of jack of all trades. I make music, I paint and draw, I write, I kind of do everything. And one thing I haven't really done anything with is the art of video, um, videography? Videography? Cinematography. No, not that. The art of making videos. <laughs> in the videos, I might do completely different things. Like maybe one day I'll review a book. Uh, I don't like saying review. It seems so professional and I'm not. And maybe in the next, I'll put up a like an artsy video with one of my voice memos or something. I don't know. I'll probably continue sharing songs that I've written or covered or do a rant about something I hate or do a rant about something I love. Honestly, I expect it will be a hot mess. That is, if I even have the willpower to make more than just this garbage introduction video. But I guess that's the point. I'm not doing it as a test of willpower like I did with the 52 Songs project. I'm not even doing it to like gain a following. I'm doing it because I have opinions and ideas. I have feelings that I want to put out into the world. I feel like being on YouTube today is like being a peddler on the streets. And just showing off your wares, and on the best day you get, like, maybe pocket change, and on the worst days you don't even get a second glance. But you still sit there and put yourself out there, because what you have in front of you is what you have to offer. Of course, it's cool when you make a living off of it and when you get famous, but that isn't what I'm here for because I can't just set myself up for failure like that. What I'm doing is for me. I want a place where I can talk about the things that I love, and in doing that, I can further my art. So, Stick around if you like what's on my peddler's blanket and if you want to see what's coming next and how my mind works and just what I have to offer. Thanks. I took a painting off my wall and now I want to go over what video I have on my bed and there's a painting. It's good. Anywho, in order to f I'm totally out of it, obviously. <laughs> That's me all the time. <laughs>